are strategically placed because we're about to shoot a film, right? Yeah. So unfortunately, we can't touch or move anything, right? Or we'll compromise the continuity of the finished film product. And we don't want to do that. We want to make professional film productions, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so camera's ready. Woo! Pictures up. Let's go. Okay, we're rolling, guys. Awesome. <laughs> Influencers. All right, grab your marks, please. All right, so our first film that we're making today is The Whimsical World of Hell. I hope you love this movie as much as I do. Can you tell me who the actor was that played Buddy? Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. <laughs> now, do you know the actor who was originally slated to be that role before Will Ferrell? Oh, I don't Any know. Any guesses? Comedic actor, really funny guy. James Carey. Jim Carrey, very good. She's on a roll, folks. The movie buff. I didn't know right that. Here. Yeah. I'm good. Woo! <laughs> we hope we change our mind. Okay. So, as our film crew, you're going to use a specific technique to make this film. It's called forced perspective. And that's how they got Buddy to look so much taller than his elf co stars. Oh, okay. Ah. Now, I also want you to pay attention to these names on the chairs, especially this one, Bing Bing. We're going to get into some more trivia later, okay? So, just remember that name. All right, so let's shoot this iconic film scene in the toy shop in the beginning of the movie. Again, you're my talent, so get ready. Here we go. You're also my film crew. Camera rolling and action. As much as Buddy was accepted by his family and friends, there were a few drawbacks to being a human in an elf's world. Buddy's a little short on the toy quota. He's only made 84. 
85. Cut. All the 85 edgy sketchies. You guys were brilliant. I saw the talent. I felt it. It was beautiful. <laughs> but we got to roll on to our next shot. We're rolling on. We're on to our next marks there. <laughs> My job as the Wrangler here to get you creative <laughs> where you need to go. Oh, wow. Yes. So please hit those marks. Bye, buddy. We are shooting our oh, second buddy, scene of this movie. This is where Buddy is leaving the North Pole to go find his dad. He jumps on an ice floe, right? Yeah. And goes across the sea. Uh, now, I need a volunteer real quick. You want to be my volunteer? Okay. Oh, no. Okay, now, as you come this way, try to hug the iceberg. I mean, not hug it, just like walk close to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. She takes direction so well. All right, so I'm going to give you some blocking in just a minute. All right? So she's got a special role here to do. What you're going to do is, I'm going to say camera rolling action, and you're going to do a little bunny hop right in this spot, right where the pine tree is, okay? And you're going to jump on the ice floe just like Buddy did, all right? Now, before you do that, are you ready? Are you focused? <laughs> you can walk and then hop, or you can hop, 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 hop. However, you want to do it like Buddy did on the ice floe, right? As he, as he sailed away. Here we go. Camera's rolling. And action. Buddy begins his journey from North Pole to New York City. All of his friends wish him luck on his adventure. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Yes, the iconic line from the movie, which I don't know, maybe you know this, it was spoken by the director, John Favreau. Really? And uh, he actually played the doctor in the film as well. All right, we're moving on to our third scene. We're rolling on. We got a tight schedule here through the seven layers or levels of the Candy Cane Forest. The sea of swirly, swirly gumdrops, the Lincoln <laughs> Tunnel, and into Gimbal's department store. So, yes, hit your marks here. And, uh,. Was an actual department store chain that went from about 1887 to 1897. So by the time they shot this movie in 2003, it had already been closed for about 16 years or so. All right, cameras rolling, action! Buddy found a job at Gimbel's department store, where he took it upon himself to do a little decorating. Santa made a visit to Gimbal's, but it wasn't what Buddy expected. You sit on a throne of ice. And uh, another fable line from the movie that we all love. Now we have shot three scenes of Elf. We've finished this movie. So what do we say when we finish a movie? We say, that's a wrap. Yes. So let's say it all together on rhythm. That's, that's a wrap. Beautiful. <laughs> we got one movie in the can, cut in print. We got to make more, though. So right this way. This is so much fun. Right, moving on to our second film, which is a stop motion animation film. It is The Year Without a Santa Claus. It aired in 1974 on ABC. It's one of those Rankin Bass productions. Uh, Jules Bass and Arthur Rankin. And uh, Mickey Rooney was the voice of Santa Claus. Uh, Jules, wow. excuse me, Shirley Booth. Controls the world's cold weather. They beg him to send snow to a winterless town. Brothers. This is a great photo opportunity if you guys want to get a photo with the scene It was voiced by Sid Sean. There you go. And I can always take pictures if you know what's going to be touching your spouse. It's totally cool. It's going to be. The only one's going to be in pictures. Just being out of the car. Oh, it's both of them. Oh, what do you think? Off with the heat miser voiced by George S. Irving. We're in South Town, USA, which the heat miser was in charge of. Now, for you movie buffs, what did the mayor need to happen to release Vixen from the dog pound? Something needed to happen that never happened here. Snow. It needed a snow. Yes. So, cameras rolling and action. And sing along with me. You're also talented already, so I know you can probably sing well. You and your kids, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Sing out, please. And a happy New Year. Oh, wow. Woo! That was beautiful. I was moved. It's like, snowing a little. It is. We have snow made out of soap, so what do we call that? Nope. Snow. Very good. All right.
right. So we have filmed our second movie. What do we say? That's all right. Very good. And let's film our third nostalgic movie, A Christmas Story. Yes, right this way. And hit your marks, please. The first person era movie was actually filmed in Cleveland, Ohio. Yes, Cleveland. Set in Indiana. So yes, hit your marks there. And cameras rolling. Unpacking the box, they didn't know what was inside. There could be anything in there. Oh boy, look at that. This is a lamp. Why don't you get close to it? Why don't you get close to it? And a quick lift of ozone. Yeah, you can get place forth in unparalleled blue. What'd you do? A bean, though? Please hit your marks in the kitchen here. The setting for such an iconic scene like Arby's Little Piggy and the turkey being attacked by the Bumpus Elves. Does anyone know the Gene Shepherd? Ooh, actually, he's playing auditions. He actually was the voice of the narrator, Older Ralphie. All right, so camera's rolling and action. disasters descend upon us. But this was not the biggest nightmare the family faced. And cut. Okay, the 80s talking. He's got to roll you to the third seat. You and guys are rolling. needed. You are our star talent. We're going to go into Ralphie's nightmare. Don't be afraid. You guys got this. So in the toys in the toy workshop, yeah. Ming Me was actually the supervisor uh, that was asking for the etchy sketchies. Yeah. Do you guys know which actor played him? Oh mm. my gosh, I don't know his name though. It was Peter Billingsley from A Christmas Story. It was wow. actually the guy who played Ralphie. So all the Christmas worlds are connected somehow. It's a one. All right, it's a we one. are moving on to my favorite movie in this series, The Polar Express. Uh -oh. Oh. And this is uh, a movie that the Guinness Book World of Records recognized as the first uh, full-length feature film to entirely use performance capture. And this is where they, you know, have the camera on the actor, they capture all the movement, oh, and wow. they skin it over with the digital stuff, you know. People think it looks creepy, but it's a magical movie, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, there's a famous actor who played like five roles in this movie. Do you guys know who that Tom was? Hanks. Tom Hanks. I didn't know that. Look at you. Do you know what roles he played in the movie? The five the roles? The conductor. Yep. The, oh, man. The, wasn't he like a... The ticket guy, right? So the conductor and then the hobo. Oh, yeah, yes, the hobo. And then he played the Santa Claus. And he also played the dad and the voice of the older boy. Oh. Okay, we are going to film a very special, magical scene. This is the beginning of the movie, the boys' bedroom, right? So again, let's 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 rein it in, in a sense of find that inner child. All right, grab your mark, hit your mark. Ready? You might, be, you might remember the opening lines of this play. On Christmas Eve many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. Yeah. I did not rustle the sheets. I did slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound I was afraid I'd never hear. The ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. Camera rolling. Action. Did you know, do you know the name of the boy, uh, the main boy in the movie? Oh, I forgot. 
That's the right answer because he didn't have a name, right? Oh, so he that's was. Right. That's right. He was credited as Hero Boy in the movie. So let's aboard the Polar Express because it's here. Well, you coming? Fly to the North Pole, of course. All aboard the Polar Express. Oh, gosh. Come on in. Get ready for the famous hot chocolate scene. Yes. Yeah, your Ooh, marks, everyone. It smells like chocolate. That's right. And I hope you guys know the choreography of your dance moves because we're going to dance in just a moment. Oh, my God. So just... Yes, bring it, bring it full <laughs> She's warming up, she's stretching, I love it. All right, camera's rolling, action. And we're pulling the tickets out the station. We are all aboard for a very special destination. But first, all right. are there any yeah. passengers in need of refreshment? Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, go for it, just a little Charleston. Here, what you got? Yeah. 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 And people say that 2020 is kind of like this board game right now. Uh, uh, Jumanji. 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 Yeah, yeah. Jumanji. <laughs> She's on a roll. Congratulations. All right, we're pulling into the North Pole. We're going to get ready to film our final scene in this movie. So please hit your marks this way. Again, actors, emotional recall. We're filming the final emotional scene of this movie. Ask yourself, do you believe? Yes, this is sung by Josh Groban. Actually, this is Gaylord Talent. But Josh Groban sang this original song. And they actually uh, won a Grammy for this uh, song. Best, best song in a motion picture. Wow. All right, so we have filmed our final scene of this movie. So say it with me. That's a wrap. You guys, I love these people. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, starring Chevy Chase, right? as Clark Griswold. Let's get ready to shoot this iconic scene. So please hit your mark. Uh, let's see, I'm going to need a volunteer lead actor here. So I'm thinking you should be Clark Griswold. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Got you. <laughs> so we're going to shoot this iconic house lighting scene. I'm going to have your mark be right there. And let's give you this first one here. And what was your name again? Darius. Darius. All right. So Darius is going to be our Clark Griswold. And this is a one take, okay? We got to get this in one shot. All right. I believe you can do it. So there you go. So we're going to give a drum roll, right? I'll say camera rolling and on action, put it together, man. Here we go, ready, and camera's rolling, action! Shoot a wide shot, okay? So, here we go. Camera rolling and action. 
Yes, she chased the squirrel out of the tree. There it is. Awesome. That was really good. <laughs> Ashley, uh, the commitment you guys bring uh, just renews my faith in artists. Okay. All right. I think there's, I think there's another animal in the tree, though. Yes. <laughs> More food. Where's the other one? Oh, there's one over there. More food and more. Look at that bread. So, oh, I thought that was Hogwarts for a second. Yeah. Hogwarts. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was like, wait a minute. The martini shot, because it's our final shot of the movie, right? So we're going to celebrate and have drinks after this. So we're going to get our martini shot. I need another volunteer. Well, I guess you, you can do it, yeah, in person, yeah. So both of you, let's have you there at the corner. And, uh... Basically, what I, uh, I what I need you to do is again, it's hot set. Everyone sat the around table, the table. But can you kind of lean Christmas over and see? Dinner. You can smell if the turkey's ready. You should be able to smell. Burnt my turkey. I heard Christmas is a great opportunity. You guys have really been a great movie party. So talented, dude. So, yeah, there it is. We just did the walkthrough of the iHeart movies. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was funny. They interact with you, they make you bark like a dog. So, anybody. <laughs> Laughed at that. I know I did. I had my mask on, but I'm probably visible or heardable in the movie. I don't know when it when, we, when I post this. I will see. But yeah, oh, it was great. I enjoyed it. I felt they kept the distance for everybody to feel safe. You know, you're not allowed to touch anything. But you know what? Even though you can touch anything, you can like play with the the props or anything. It was still a lot of fun. And I will recommend this for anybody that wants to come enjoy Christmas. Yeah, and on top of that, with the social distancing, yeah, they do keep you away from everybody. But on top of that, you do have a guide, and they kind of put you, like, you're in the movies itself. So you're actually got a role play like you saw us do. So, so yeah, come definitely on. Definitely would recommend. Come on down. It's the uh, I Heart Movies, or Christmas Movies. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already messing up. But I Heart Christmas Movies, and here at Gaylord Palms, Orlando, Florida. Let's have some fun. That's a... Uh... Crap. All right, guys, so if you come here at Gaylord Palms, they have a Build-A-Bear workshop right here in the Christmas area. And you can get your child in PJs. They have a limited quantity, so if you can't find it anywhere else, Gaylord Palms is the way to go.